Bernie Sanders says that he has a solution to all of this. He has a solution to what is wrong with journalism. He wrote an op-ed about this, believe it or not. He blamed the problems in journalism on media conglomerates and media mergers. He wants the governments to outlaw all of that to regulate private business. But it seems to me that the problem with journalism in our nation is not media conglomerates, it's journalists who lie. No, oh, you're absolutely right. Look, there's a huge problem in journalism. You have activists, uh, activist journalists. The media is controlled largely by the left. I mean, they're, they're somewhat an appendage of the Democratic Party. But this isn't anything new from Bernie Sanders. He wants to take over another industry. Oh, okay. I mean, he's been calling for the takeover of multiple industries since the 70s, the oil industry. He wanted to take over the TV industry. In 1981, he wanted to take over private uh, charities. He wanted government to run all charities. I mean, I think we should start asking, what doesn't Bernie Sanders want to take over? I don't think this is, has anything to do with journalism. Obviously, they're largely on his side. It's just an excuse, one, to pick up on populist voters. He wants to seem like he's not mainstream. He's outside the Democratic establishment. And number two, he wants to control resources. He's a socialist. He's not a liberal. He's not a Democrat. He's a self-avowed socialist. Right. I don't think this is outside the norm. I think people should really start asking, what doesn't Bernie Sanders want to take over? Yep. I think that's a good point. Healthcare, media, oil, TV, um, everything. Essentially, his Green New Deal wants to nationalize all kinds of energy stuff. He wants the government to take over, and now he wants the government to be in charge of media companies and journalists. That, I think, is what they call state-sponsored propaganda. Socialists do love that, so maybe that's why he does. He talks about, he claims that if the government did prevent these media mergers that we could get back to quote unquote real journalism. In his mind, real journalism was, was what exposed Watergate. It seems to me though, that if anybody, any current media company, any current journalist uh, on the left cared about journalism, cared about exposing corruption and holding government accountable, which is what we're supposed to do, they would be reporting on the corruption and the law-breaking activity uh, by the FBI, the Obama Department of Justice, spying on a presidential candidate, Donald Trump, and then trying to take down his campaign. They'd be reporting on all of that. The Steele dossier, Bruce Orr, uh, essentially fabricated FISA court warrants and uh, everything that James Comey gave a thumbs up to that he ought not to have done that. If the left cared about being journalists, there's plenty of red meat out there to report on. They just choose not to. No, and again, you're right. Look, if you look at even Bernie, and you look at Bernie had a very radical past. I mean, he's been calling for takeovers in the 70s. You know, he wanted to take over the medical industry as far back as 40 years ago. I mean, did you hear that in the last election cycle? Do you hear it in this election cycle? Or do you hear that he spent time in the Soviet Union, that he went to, to far left Soviet style camps uh, right. you know, overseas? Do you hear about any of these things? I mean, he wanted to take over energy 40 years ago. That's something that would have been so unbelievably radical just 10 years ago, five years ago. I mean, so, you know, no one's asking him the question of what else do you want to take over? How, what kind of socialist are you? I mean, is he really the type of socialist that wants to, that thinks that they need to seize resources? He had said that in the past. He wanted to take over a lot of the television industry, and he didn't want to compensate the owners. He just wanted to take their wealth. How far does that go? The media has not done their job on that. You don't see them talking about it in his town hall at CNN. Not one question asked about it.